Some new information for you on this. President-elect Donald Trump taking on defense contractors, hitting Boeing over the billion-dollar price tag for the new Air Force One, and Lockheed Martin for the high cost of its F-35 fighter jets. Mr. Trump tweeting, the F-35 program and cost is out of control. Billions of dollars can be saved on military and other purchases after January 20th. Marcus Weisgerber writes, it would be nearly impossible for President-elect Donald Trump to kill the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter or any other expensive Pentagon weapon that he inherits upon taking the oath of office January 20th. But he could shake down defense contractors for billions of dollars. And Marcus Weisgerber joins us now, global business editor for Defense One. Nice to see you, Marcus. Thanks for having me. Billion dollars here, billion dollars there. Sooner or later, we start talking about some real money. Exactly. So what, what President-elect Trump has done is he's, fi he's fired some warning shots. He's taking on the top two defense companies. He took on, as you said, Air Force One and Boeing last week. This week, uh, he, he's going after the F-35. Last week, when he tweeted about the exorbitant cost of Air Force One, everyone kind of shook their head and said, well, you know, there, this project hasn't really started. Those costs are estimate, estimated, and they could be changed. Why, would, why doesn't he go after something, if he wants to go after defense companies, a project that is document, well documented for over budget, because there are a lot of them. So this, this week, he, he did just that, and he went after the biggest one of them all. The biggest one of them all being the F-35, and Lockheed Martin, who's obviously made a lot of money out of this and has used that money to hire PR people, already had this ready to roll out. And this is from Lockheed Martin's website. They have an entire website dedicated to showing everyone and then their congressmen exactly how much of an impact the F-35 program has in each state. So you click on your state and you can say, oh, there's X number of jobs here, X numbers of billions of dollars there. 45 states in all, they say there's an economic impact of the F-35. That's 90 senators who have skin in the game, and that's a whole lot of congressmen who don't want to see any cuts coming to their homes. Exactly, and, and, that's, and that's the thing. It, it, it'll be very difficult for him to kill a program of such magnitude, but he can do, he can do a lot. For instance, the, now Lockheed got this F-35 contract more than a decade ago to build these three very distinct planes for the Army, uh, Na uh, Air Force, uh, for, excuse me, for the Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps, and a lot of international allies. And by, uh, hav by, having, that um, by having that contract, it's very, it, overturning it is incredibly difficult. But here's what he can do. Every year, the, pre uh, the Pentagon signs new contracts with Lockheed for a certain number of planes. They just signed a contract recently for 57 of them, a $6.1 billion contract. What he can do is he can go through negotiations, and if he doesn't like what Lockheed is uh, proposing, he can say, well, we should give you, we feel we should give you X, X amount of money. And he could do that. And then the company has 90 days to say, okay, we accept that, or we're going to take you to court. And it's not such a radical idea because President Obama himself and his Pentagon just did this with Lockheed. But Marcus, a lot, of people, a lot of people would argue the Defense Department has never done this enough. I mean, even John McCain, the senator who's the chairman of the Armed Services Committee, I had him on the show on Saturday, and he called mm -hmm. the Pentagon the most bloated, inefficient mess of an organization he's ever seen. Yet, still, we've got $4 billion destroyers that need, to have, need tugboats to go places. We've got the F-35 that doesn't work so well or work as promised. And, and that's a very valid point. Now, one, one thing th this Pentagon would like to tell you is that those overruns are going down. Sure, they're going down, but, but, they're, but they're still there. So what, what does, should the Pentagon do? A, some, a lot of people say they just overreach. When they come up with these concepts for these colossal multi-billion dollar programs, they're looking at technology and, and uh, um, types, uh, kind of Star types of Wars, technology. Star Wars not, again. Exactly. Stuff that's not proven. So they I, need I, to I, dial back real, down their technology. Real quick, real quick, I only got about 30 seconds. Uh, he obviously went after Boeing with Air Force One, went after Lockheed Martin with F-35. Both st stocks took a real hit when it happened. What are the next couple of programs that you think Donald Trump is going to start going after, or for that matter, should? Well, one big program is the Air Force has a new bomber that it's building, and this program is being conducted in a co complete secrecy. It's a classified project. Uh, it's estimated to cost anywhere upwards of $80 billion. Uh, each plane is going to cost more than $500 billion, a million uh, dollars. 
So it's got a big target. A lot of people are calling for it to be out in the open, and it'll be a real test uh, if he's able to actually shed some light on what's actually happening behind the scenes. Yeah, and a lot of talk about the Navy's new destroyers as well. Marcus, appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. Thanks for All having me.